Aloysius Price didn't get what he came for, bitch. Earl, shall we leave? Here, guys. I'll call y'all later. Cool, man. Take care. You too, man. Right. Come on, Rashad. I'm going to walk them out there. I'll be right back. Bye, motherfuckers. Bye. <laughs> Take care, guys. How can I ever trust you again? I mean, the thing with my dad, that's that's one thing with Kennedy and then Sebastian. Look, man, I'll apologize to Sebastian. I mean, if I had known who he was, I never would have done what I did. I never want to hurt you. All your friends. I mean, why you didn't introduce me to them anyway? You know all my friends. Well, as you can see, my friends ain't the friendly. <laughs> and besides, they think I'm naive when it comes to me anyway. I see. And I understand. And I'm very sorry. Yeah, Earl, but how do I know you are just saying it to get back on my good side? No, look, I started seeing a therapist today. And if you will let me back in your space, I want you to help me out too. I know it's something I'm seriously fucked up about on the inside. But I need you to help me with that. I mean, wow, girl. I mean, that seems like a lot. I don't know if I can handle that. Trey, look at me. Trey, look at me. I'm willing to take this at your pace. However fast or slow you may want to go, just let me know something, man. I mean, I just happen, I just need to think about this. You're taking me way too fast. <laughs> well, just as long as I know you will think about it, I can rest better. So, I gotta get out of here with uh, my friends are waiting. <laughs> Tell you what, just give me some time to think about it and I'll <sighs> get back to you with my decision. Okay? That's cool. Before you go, can I share? <laughs> At least get a hug. You know what? It's too soon. So, yeah, just, just hold off on it, okay? You're right. <laughs> Well, come on, I'm gonna walk you out. So I can apologize for bears. Maybe I can start there. Come on, that's a good start. Yeah. First four to eight up on this beat. Yeah. Niggas out here wanna fast claim beef. Right. Just to get the status of Finney Streets. Wanna swear up. So Trey, do you really think you could trust him again? That's the thing. He sounds sincere, but. I don't know. See, that seed of doubt that you have, it's going to germinate. And then when it does, don't say I didn't warn you. But Bash, 
What if his apology really is heartfelt? How does Trey deny himself a true piece of happiness? Happiness is never dependent on one person or thing. Happiness just is. You ain't gotta put no work towards no happiness. Yeah, but how can you be so sure about that? Because I know what happiness looks, smells, and tastes like. And my friend, Boo Boo Earl ain't it. Damn, Badge. Just pissing his fruity pebbles, why don't you? I'm not finna sugarcoat nothing. Trey is my friend, and he deserves somebody that's gonna love him unconditionally. Without fail. And hell, Earl done failed plenty of times. Damn. Maybe Bash is right. Maybe. I'm definitely right. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You going down a road that's clearly marked a dead end. I ain't gonna go mad at Excuse me? I said, I understand. Oh, I thought so, bitch. Bash, you too deep for me. What's deep is this hole that Trey is digging for himself if he keeps trying to pursue something with Earl. He's gonna live to regret it. Well, that's what I tell you. Mark my words. But Bash, what if you're wrong? I mean, he told me he started seeing a therapist. Hell, if I'm wrong, I'll support your relationship 100%, regardless. Mm. I mean, well, I guess I just got a lot of thinking to do with it. Well, hold up now, Trey. Because see, when my grandmama told us how to play spades, <clears throat> she said, if you think long, think wrong. Really, team? A card analogy? Oh, I'm sorry, bitch. I ain't quoting Malcolm X and Socrates like you. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, what do you think I should do, team? Look, like Anita Baker once said, you got to follow your heart. Close your eyes and see. See with your heart. See with your spirit. Not with your mind. Not with your eyes. That's really cute, but who is Anita Baker? You know what? I can't even deal. <laughs> I can't deal. Really, Trey? You don't know Anita Baker? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the lady that moved to Paris with the bananas? Uh, no. That's Josephine Baker. Okay, the civil rights activist? Oh, my God. Wrong again. That's Ella Baker. You know what? Fuck it. I don't need a baker anyway. Oh, you tried it. Anita is only one of the greatest R&B singers of all time. You don't know none of her songs. Angel, Sweet Love, Watch the Step. Give me the best that I got. Talk to me. Why are you here? No, Trey, I mean, why are you on earth? Team. You wasting your time, believe me. Shut up, Bash. Shut up. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm gonna support you regardless of whatever decision you make with your relationship or whatever you want to call it. I admonish you to choose wisely. I mean, your life may be dependent on it. You sound like you think he might kill me or something. I mean, he may not kill you physically, but at the end of the day, you emotionally scarred, he psychologically scarred, that ain't gonna do nothing but make things about y'all insecurities worse. In a nutshell, please, I think what Bash is saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that until he gets to the root of his own problem and you get to the root of why you wanna be with someone with problems like his, you might wanna sleep therapy too. Exactly. Everyone got their own shit to deal with. You just gotta find out what that is and what the root of it is and start the healing process for it. I mean, he told me he started seeing a therapist. So instead of dealing with your own deep-rooted issues, you rather put up with his? Fuck that. Yeah, Trey. I'm all for a happy ending and shit, but I'm starting to have my doubts too. Stealing the dog? Assaulting his friend? Jacking off to his daddy's picture? Fuck all that. No. Okay. But he said it was out of his character. I mean, I gotta believe that those weeks and weeks we spent together were genuine. I mean, 
I really believe he truly loves me. Well, whoop. There it is. Again, I support whatever decision you make. That's you. Me too. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the honest talk. No problem. I love you. We are family, like a giant uh, tree. Uh, no, 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 no. This ain't no Madea play. Fuck up out here, Tyler Petty. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> Who do you thought this was? I just. Uh. After dealing with Trey and all his shit, now it's time for me to deal with my own. I'm headed to my mama's house. You know, I'm always like doing shit for her, making sure she has this and that. Now I'm dropping off dry cleaning that she needed me to pick up. It's always something with her. I'm just like the unluckiest guy in life. It's funny because my childhood nickname was Lucky! Kind of like irony may call a fat kid tiny. Yui Blake once said, Be grateful for luck, pay the thunder no mind, listen to the birds, and don't hate nobody. How was your day? It was great. I, I worshiped with my friends and we had a great gathering and you know, God just been so good, just so good to me, you know. I'm just excited about the Lord. Okay. So, so tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? What's going on? What's new? Uh -huh, that went pretty good. Me and Trey hung out early before we went to work, but I mean, we didn't do much of nothing. Just hung out. You know, when you picked up your dry cleaning. Oh, thank you so much, baby, for bringing my dry cleaning over. You know, it's all mama's church clothes, and you know how I gotta be sharp in the house of the Lord. You should take notes. No, thanks. I got better things I can do with my money. $150 in dry cleaning? That's ridiculous. Sebastian, don't you come up in here with this blasphemous mouth of yours. What's blasphemous about me not wanting to spend no money on some dry cleaning just so you can impress people with a Jesus complex? Now you gonna watch your mouth up in here. You're not gonna say a mumbling word about the Messiah. He died so you could live. Mama. I didn't say nothing about Jesus. Oh, yes, you did. And if you keep it up, I'm going to slap your face. I'm just saying, if you're going to go to church, go to church for the right reason. And who appointed you Pontus Pilate? Look, Mama, I was only trying to... Trying to make me feel bad about wanting to look good in the house of the Lord? It ain't no good in that, Sebastian. And I pay for your clothes. I'm trying to help you save money. I really don't give a damn about how you saving your soul. Sebastian Corruptus, you done got so grown that you don't care nothing about your mother. God is not pleased, and your days will be numbered. I'm old enough where I can have my own opinion without you trying to force yours down my throat. You can have whatever opinion you want, but not about my church or my savior. You are out of line. What's out of line is you calling me all the way from across town just to get you some dry cleaning that you knew you could even afford. What is wrong with you? See, this is what happens when you stop going to church, stop reading the Word of God, and stop listening to the Word of God. I can see the end of days are here, and it's all in your spirit. Are you serious? So it was about the end. Just because I don't want to sit in the church with a bunch of hypocrites reading a bunch of bedtime stories out of an old-ass book. I will not stand here and listen to no child of mine talk crazy to me. Well, sit down and listen, because I'm not finished. That's 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 And when that best for Every day is something different.